Your nerdin says in your book, and what I want to do today is finish off with the equations of motion so that we can start with the graphs. Um, and then, when you're on, and you teach reacts, come, come, you're almost every day school too. Lekker. So then we'll have more time to work out extra examples. Okay. Goed, so by number 4, sê hulle vir jou, Marius reis sy fiets tegen een constante snelheid van 25 per meter per seconde wees. He realizes that he is late for an appointment and accelerates constantly at 2 meters per second squared until his velocity is 35 meters per second west. How long, um, calculate how long it took him to increase his velocity to that. Do you guys agree that we are looking for the time? As if you have a question, how long did it take him? Then is the answer that on soak tight. Excuse me, let's say begin snelheid. Is 25 in the end snelheid is 35. In the other inlichting that we see is the first snelling. And as ons wees as positive kies, then all of those values will be positive. So we understand. Okay. So the one that we see, that all four of these inlichts is the one that so like. Four f is like on four e plus. Oh, you guys can come in, and then you can just answer to the best. Thanks. Delta t. And see, all the values that I install is positive. Okay? So, all, all of the values are in a western direction, so all of them have the same direction, so I'm thinking that direction is positive. And our ground 10 is like on 2 delta t. In other words, it took him 5 seconds to accelerate from 25 to 35. Thank you, Lord. Celebrate! Okay. 4.2 say if you calculate the distance that he covered in that time. Now remember, you are allowed to use time now. You are. But there is another one that you can use where you don't use any of the values that you had to calculate. So let's write down what we need. You guys agree we need delta x? And on it on zeros. And that's the one that we need. Okay. And as it is for gelijking in terms of the way, I crop all the demo card with one year, but it's in the quadrier word in what you call. But if you use this one, then you can calculate delta x. You let us first on Amal, you come with the energy say. Good, good. So this one said how far, but let's say they asked for the total displacement. Do you guys agree that that will be 150? Let's work of the clock. That that will be 150 meters west. Okay, good. I can on with number five. Spider Man. So on a reeling from the brook, and he has to get away fast. We don't know why, but he has to get away. He sees a truck filled with mattresses about to pass under the bridge and decides to jump from the bridge so that he lands on the mattresses. He steps off the railing before the truck with the mattresses passes underneath the bridge, ex ignore air resistance and take gravitational acceleration as 9,8 meters per second downwards. Okay, good. Come on, stick in it. He's a brick. He's on Spider-Man. Was with Spider-Man in the right taken. Okay. Those Spider-Man. 
Eén niet trok en zo paard. Die trok het drie willen. Eén niet trok en zo paard. Eén dat is lekker gemakkelijk en met trassen op die trok. Kijk. Goed. En hij gaat nou afspringen. Maar omdat hij nou afspringt, dan rij hij om het. Nee? Als hij te laat afspringt, dan valt hij om het. So he has to time when he is stepping off the railing. Now, this is true. Downward acceleration due to gravitation is always 9,8 meters per second squared. En die volgende som wat ons hierna gaan doen, werk ook met verticale beweging. So whenever we're working with vertical motion, if you throw a ball up into the air, even though you are throwing the ball up into the air, the acceleration will be 9,8 meters per second down. Want is gravitatie wat goed, en waarom toe trek gravitatie goed? Altijd? Onder toe. Nee? En dus hoe kom die bal zelfs al gooi om boon toe? Waar gaan hy op die ouwe ende opeindig? Weer op vloek. Nee? Want hy versnel altijd of, of as jy omraak gevang het. Oké. Okay. Goed. Calculate the total time from the moment, moment Spider-Man falls from rest until he lands on the mattresses which is 20 meters below. So hier die afstand wat hy gaan val. is 20 meter. Sien jylle, ek noem om nou delta i. Do you guys see that? It doesn't matter if you say delta x. You won't lose marks. Maar die i as loop moos so. En die x as loop so. So dis ek om ek om delta i noem. Ok, very important. Vi is equal to 0 meters per second. Want soos wat Spiderman nou daar op die brug staan, staan hy stil. And they are asking for the total time. And we have acceleration. And we have displacement. And do you agree that my acceleration and my displacement will be downwards? Sien jylle dit? Nee? Hy val onder toe. En hy versnel onder toe. So altyd van les afwaarts. So ek gaan sommer sê, choose down as positive. As jy opwaarts as positief gekies het, moes jy al twee jou waardes negatief gemaakt het en dan raak het net ingewikkeld. Ok, so hier is die waardes wat met ons werk. Nou, moet nou nie laat die delta i jylle verwaar nie, dit is precies die selle as delta x. So sien jylle, ons het een vergelijking wat werk met delta i is gelijk aan 4i delta t plus daai ene. Allemaal bij. Hij lijkt nou een beetje anders omdat hij i en x. Maar omdat ons kan nou i en nou x omruil. So this will be 20. Ja. Yeah. And this whole term will fall away. Hoe kom sê ek daar jylle term gaan wegval? So we gaan snel uit is 0. En enig iets maal met 0 is 0. Nee? So jy kan nou gaan en het gaan instel, maar het maak jy so hier. Soos dit. Okay, so now I'm going to say 20 gedeeld door 4,9. That gives me delta t kwadraat is gelijk aan 4,0816. No quickies. How do I get rid of it to the power of 2? You just say square root on both sides, no? No, no. That is only like plus of minus 2,02. Maar hoekom kan het die negatief wees sê? Ek kan nie een negatieve seconde kry nie. Nee? We have not yet discovered time travel. So jy kan nie terug gaan in tyd nie. Do you agree? Because time is a scalar value. It only travels in one direction. Unfortunately.
Okay. So far at Spider-Man, sy voet voorin toe gesit het, doordat hy die matrasse tref 20 meter onder hom, waar het 2,02 sekundes. Hy het nie, hy het mooi gekyk. Hy het mooi gekyk. Okay. Dan by 5,2 sê, ach 5,2, 5,2 sê hulle vir jou, calculate the velocity at which he hits the mattresses. So stem hulle saam, wat ek nou soek is VF. Nee? Goed. VE het ons as 0, Delta I het ons as 20, en A het ons as 9,8. En ek gaan weer afwaarts as positief vat, because this one is downwards and this one is downwards. En hulle die richting nie. Okay, so as ons gaan kyk na daas, gaan ek sê, het is 4F kwadraat is gelijk aan 4I kwadraat plus 2A delta I. Wat koort ek? Richting. Goed. Ok. Ek wil hee, jylle moet gauw vir my begin met nummer 6. Ek wil hom net eers vir jylle teken. So. Nummer 6 sê vir jou. Een kriketbal word vertikaal afwaarts gegooi. Met ander woorde, ons staan op iets en ons gooi die bal onder toe. Ons laat val om nie net nie. Ons gooi om met een beginsnelheid van 3 meter per sekunde. Ok, so hier is water die onder. Kom. Hy wil hier die water teken nie. Daar is die water. O jene. Daar is die duikplank. En hier is die bal en hy gooi om onder toe tegen 3 meter per sekunde. En hier die afstand waar die bal val. Is 3 meter. Amal by. Ok. Ok. Dan sê hulle vir jou, bereken die snelheid waarmee die water die bal tref. So what do you want to calculate? VF, nee? What do you have? Wat is VI? 3. Nee? Wat het ons nog? Wat is A? Mooi! Even though they don't specifically say that, you have to know 